Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the Explorer software, some of the benefits that can provide for you, especially in late game. Um, I don't know about you, but after playing for a while, I've got most of the sectors mapped on my universe map, um, but I haven't found most of the stations within each sector. If you recall one of the earlier tutorials, once I discovered a new sector, I would fly my ship around looking for things on the screen that weren't mapped yet, and fly towards them until they were in range of my scanner so that I would map them. It's a very slow process and uh, if you're like me again you, you're going to get to a certain sector fairly quickly because you know there's a station there that has something you want so you kind of zip through all of these different sectors without mapping the stations and you know by the uh, like I said late game you have all of these places that aren't thoroughly mapped and your universal traders um, to the best of my knowledge, aren't going to uh, hit all of them. I'm not 100% sure about that, but either way, I personally can't switch over uh, to a sector, even if it's got an advanced satellite, and check the stock of, say, a specific shipyard or equipment dock if I haven't mapped that item yet. So that's what this is going to be for. Uh, I've purchased a very fast ship, the Kestrel, and uh, if you check it out, I've got it maxed. Uh, maxed out at 605 meters a second, so it's very quick. Um, I've also picked up the navigation software, and this is the uh, the key: Explore Command Software. Now you can pick this up in most Talati state uh, sectors. Specifically, look in their equipment docks. And again, you can tell you know who owns a sector. Well, number one, quickly looking at um, the ships that are flying in it. But if you're in a crossroads type sector, or like this one where I don't have visibility and I can't see a bunch of ships. It's uh, it's labeled in the bottom left-hand corner, um, Argon space here. All right, so I've got my Kestrel ship. He's got the Explorer Command software, and he's fully upgraded speed. Now, you, you can put this on any ship, even your own. Um, of course, a faster ship will get it done quicker, and is more likely to survive getting ambushed by pirates or xenon or something like that because it would just fly past them. Okay, I'm going to load my sector map and as you can see it's a bit altered again because I'm using the cheat scripts to uh, generate these things so um, this is what it would look like if you were in a sector that uh, where you have not mapped the surrounding sectors yet now short of flying through a gate yourself and putting the new sector on the map if you recall and have tried to do this with another ship remotely you can't tell that ship to fly through a gate you can tell them to go to sector but it will only let you choose a sector that you've already found so not very useful uh, until you have the explore software because now we have a new command let's get him to uh, let's get our Kestrel to map a few things for us so I will go to the navigation menu and you'll see that I have some new options now because of the software I'll first tell him now if I just say map sector uh, it will prompt you and again always the prompt is up here saying what you need to do next select a sector Okay, well, if I select red light, we've already mapped this. It's not very useful. So to map the next one, I have to give him a different command. So navigation, tell him to fly through gate. Select the current sector and select the north gate. Command accepted. Now I'm going to load up the uh, sector map so we can watch what's going on here. And uh, turn on SATA. Now you will actually fly up and go through that gate as if uh, you were piloting the ship yourself and once he's on the other side uh, we can give him um, various other commands specifically map the sector and I'll show you when we get there okay my Kestrel has made it through the north gate I'm gonna pull up property windows and choose the sector map for the Kestrel by selecting him and pressing period okay you can see that he is in uh, a sector that I haven't mapped yet there's nothing here he, the only thing he can see is what's in his scanner range so let's let him do some exploring select him pull up the command menu one for navigation and now we'll tell him to map sector um, select the sector now in late game again this would be very applicable um, again if you've got sectors that are mapped in other words they're on your universe uh, map only but you haven't thoroughly um, mapped every station within you can just scroll over and select the sector and he'll do this for you uh, so it works the same way. Let's select the sector and now the prompt is select a position with the cursor. Now you can just come down here and select a ship. If I select this Cayman, my explorer will start to 
spiral around that position, or at least the position that ship was in when I gave him the command, and he will sp continue spiraling at an ever-increasing radius until he uh, reaches the amount of distance that I put in in the command. All right, so you want to definitely check out up here the size of the sector, 305 kilometers. If you don't explore at least that much, you're probably going to miss some stuff. But you don't have to pick a ship. Again, the prompt is uh, select a position with the cursor. So let's use the numpad, and this is your cursor. It makes a lot of sense to just move it right in the middle of the sector. Press enter, and then it will prompt you for the range to scan. I'm going to put in just a, an arbitrary number that's uh, at least as big as the sector, 360. And now if I pull up his sector map, turn on SATA, you will see that he moves to the center and then begins this spiral pattern and starts to map things for us. Now he will continue this until he's exhausted the range and once he's done he will just sit there um, and wait for your uh, order. Of course you can give him you know, prompt me when order is complete. Um, I think the biggest mistake I make with these guys most of the time is I don't, uh, I'm in such a hurry, I don't look at the size of the sector. I just type in some big number like 600 kilometers to make sure that he maps the whole thing and then I'll forget about him and come back 20 minutes later and you'll see the ship 600 kilometers out uh, still flying around. So come back and check on him. And um, after a while I'll have, I would dare say, most of the uh, the universe mapped. Now. We know that uh, EgoSoft likes to hide some uh, abandoned items, um, and if you've been lucky enough to come across, you know some of those, you can find a ship or two. Uh, that's a lot of fun, and um, of course, like right now, he just uh, this asteroid popped up. A ship would show up like that too, but you have to actually be watching the screen when that happens to see it here. Um, and if you do, and I've seen this before, I've seen him come across an abandoned item and I'll say, whoa, and I'll pause the game, look at where he's at, because I'm running four or five of these explorers at one time, and then I'll, um, I will jump to that sector and go claim that ship. Now sometimes they're pretty devious and they'll hide things that are outside of the sector, um, at least this, this, uh, the range of this map. The only way to get those, uh, to the best of my knowledge, is to physically be in the ship as it flies by the item so you see it on your screen. Now you can give your own ship the explore command and while you're in the ship turn on SATA and I guess the reason for that would be once you're outside of this uh, the range of this sector map here um, again the only way you could see anything would be on your screen. With the explorer driving it it would be sure to cover all of the area and if you watch in the screen you would see something fly by and you could stop and grab it. But as you can see he's already got most of uh, what's here mapped out. I'll turn SATA back on. He's already got most of what's here mapped out. That's going to be very helpful to me for later game. Um, if I want to scroll over the universe map real quick, peek in on a sector that I have a, uh, a satellite installed, and check the stock of a certain shipyard or equipment dock or whatever. And uh, this ensures that I've got all of those things mapped out. You never know when you're going to need to find something in a station for a, a mission or whatever. All right, uh, the only other thing I didn't mention um, it's, that's related to this, I can select him now and um, give navigation order and deploy satellite network. I don't think I talked about this. Um, if I choose that and he's got a satellite in his freight bay, again, you'll get the cursor. If I come over here, let's just put it here so it will be quicker. Uh, I would normally put a satellite in the middle of the sector or if it's a very large sector I would split it up and put maybe one up here and one down here so I could see more of it. I'm going to select something close to my ship, choose enter, Command accepted. and then he will go and deploy that satellite for me. And there it is. So there you have it. I hope that helps. A little bit of uh, positive uses for the Explorer software. And I'll see you in the next video.